Hello and welcome. I am Bernard Abeko Autry, the Communication Director for Cape Coast Mysterious Ebusunya Dwarfs. Today we engage our head coach on the latest and more in the upcoming season. You can find us on all our handles on Twitter, Ebusunya underscore Dwarfs, and of course on the other handles as Facebook, Instagram, and on the YouTube platform at Ebusunya Dwarfs FC. Today, there's a lot to know, and of course, our coach is set and ready. So, coach, uh, many, many have been wondering, uh, do you have a target for mysterious Ibushanos as a head coach? We have set a target that at least, or at most by the close of the season, we should be in the top six of the Ghana Premier League, and that is quite achievable. Uh, that's interesting. So, you can then tell us the planning, uh, you know, wanting to use to achieve this target. What are the plans? All that we are planning to do is to win all our home matches and then when we go away, try as much as possible to win some of the away matches and get some drawn games to there and we would mass up enough points to hit the target we set for ourselves. you have a particular approach or a style of play you'd want to use to achieve this plan? At uh, home and away, is it all going to be the same style and approach? It's, it's not going to be the same style. It depends mm. on the team we are playing against Okay. because um, Teams will be coming in with different systems and mm. approach to the game and also adapt quickly to, you know, counter whatever uh, systems they come up with. So we'll be meeting them as and what they present on the table. And that is our plan. But we have our, uh, uh, you know, system that we have boys in readiness with. And that is the 4 2 one, three system which we are going to apply in most of our games. And then sometimes, you know, reverse it to the four, one, two, three. So I think uh, 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 it's more of, uh, should I use uh, the late uh, summer day stem, a multi-system or multi faceted something that we're going to uh, use in our play. That's, that's quite impressive, but you have the opportunity to start with the boys. So one would say you came in on March Day 5 in the truncated season and you didn't have the opportunity to, uh, you know, have a critical look at um, uh, the, the boys and what they would, they, would, they would want to do. But um, now you have the privilege with them, you, you officially start pre-season with them. Um, you feel it's an opportunity to see and know the players very well ahead of the season? Yeah, thank you very much. So, uh, before um, the truncated league, um, we came in, just like you rightly said, in uh, the fifth week of the truncated uh, matches. And we didn't actually have a grasp of the players. It really took us some time before we actually had our hold on the team. But now that we are starting with them right from the preseason, entering into the uh, first match of the season, yeah, it has given us the opportunity to actually know um, all our players very well, their capabilities, their weaknesses, and their strengths as well. So it really gives us a very good opportunity to um, put them together as a very strong force. Yeah, um, actually the preseason has been very beneficial to the team because um, we've had the opportunity to, you know, uh, see how well conditioned the boys are, uh, looking at their uh, physical fitness levels and all that. And as well, playing in those uh, friendlies, it has actually given us an idea of what to expect when uh, the league kicks off, especially with uh, setting uh, lapses in the team and then the strengths of the team. And that is helping us to correct those um, lapses before uh, we actually kick off for uh, the season. So it's really been a very good um, pre-season, which has offered us a lot of um, you know, opportunities to uh, realize the uh, challenges that we may face going forward and then our strengths and our weaknesses and we are actually putting in all we can to correct uh, the weaknesses so that we'll have a very solid team going into the league. There's, there's a derby day, a big one against Elmina Sharks. After Elmina Sharks you go to Techiman where you picked the point last season. The big derby. What, what, what's going to be the approach? We know there was pains last year where you, know, you were beaten by a goal to zero. How's, how's the approach going to be this time around? I think it's a payback time because, um, you know, we actually suffered a very painful defeat at the hands of Elmina Sharks uh, in the last fixture when we met at Elmina. So now that they are coming to our fortress, I call the new Cape Coast Stadium our fortress because you saw our performance uh, in the truncated league. We were winning almost all matches uh, that we played at home. So they coming would actually going to face 
a wounded lion because we're going to go into this match very very aggressively because we need the three points more than i think elmina sharks needs a point so we are leaving no stone on tent we are going all out and our target is just to pick the three points and that is end of story but you know let's talk about the the fixtures now on, on twitter today we saw your team post operation 15 points for your first five matches of the season you feel it is reachable and, and how are you going to do it um yes it's very 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 achievable when we should take every match by match you know um we should go into every game very determined and very resilient and i think uh, the target said 15 points five matches is very very achievable if we are well focused and uh, having mother luck also on our side it is very very achievable i thought you were going to ask me about our covid test as well <laughs> <laughs> you that uh, when you did your covid test yeah uh, uh, yeah we had our covid test uh, some few days back and um yesterday we had the results uh, coming in and thankfully enough all of us are cleared negative so it means uh, we are good to go from the technical team right down to the players so i don't think we have any challenge uh with you know our players and the technical team all will be present so we thank god for that um my message to um the Come fans i would say uh they should always be there for us just like they've been uh, since we took over uh we know there's been challenges sometimes but they've been very supportive and they should continue to be supportive uh you know by um helping us with um all they can some of them actually financially were uh, doling out money to the players you know to motivate them some came with you know um material things water drinkables and all that and that was actually inspiring and then motivating the boys so we are appealing to them to continue doing that and then bringing us more oliver twist will always ask for more and that is what's going to push us and push us on this year is surely going to be a year for the abonto abonto boys Ebusuna drafts ID Pande IDK. Now, IDK. That's that's <laughs> interesting. That's beautiful. All right, th thank you guys. Uh, we had Ernest Thompson Cote here, who's the head coach for the Cape Coast Mysterious uh, Ebusuna Draft. We say ID Pande IDK. Ah! Hey,